So with Shaquille O'Neal averaged 40 today, apparently he told somebody that he would. And Stephen A. Smith disagreed. Jay Williams said possibly if it's the Orlando Shaq. I'll say this. Let me put Shaq in perspective. If Giannis and Tupacupo can average 30 plus, Shaq's about five points better than Giannis. As great as Giannis is, Shaq's about five plus points better. So the way Shaq played in Orlando and the way the court is open today, and if you had to hack him or whatever, what you do, yeah, I could see it. I know Stephen A. Smith said he never averaged 30 points a game, but he did do 29.7 his MVP season, so that's close. I'm sure he could today. I'm sure he could today. But the way the league is today, I believe he could average about easily 30, 35. 40 might be a reach, but keep in mind, peak and prime, and they don't flop as much or they how they go about stuff today, he'd have a good chance. He'd have a good chance today. Because um, his skill set and the way they run today, I wouldn't be shocked. I wouldn't put I wouldn't put nothing past Shaquille O'Neal. He's one of the most disrespected superstars ever for the simple fact being he always adapted to when he had greatness around him and what his call and response was. And people take his knowledge for granted how he could interpret the game. So, you know, you don't bet against somebody who's a proven commodity. And I'm sure he would adapt real well. I have no doubts in my mind about it, but I'd say he come close because his apex, where he was, especially if you go by the finals, now in the finals, that's where he really created terror, especially during his peak and his prime. So he plays like that and he won this stat pad. I'm sure if you, what well, people feel to realize he won four rings, six finals appearances, three last to three P. People feel to realize if Shaq was just a stat pattern, I wouldn't put that past him. I wouldn't because he started to downplay the regular season and he understood it was about getting rings. So I wouldn't put it past him. If that was his goal, you know, healthy, motivated and focused on that. And one thing I noticed about his career, especially at his prime from Orlando to Miami, that's the first two years in Miami from 92 to about 06. When that guy was motivated and wanted to do something, he did it. So wouldn't put it past him. Depends on who the coach and what the situation is like. But in this day and time, I think he could do it. But tell me what you think. Please like, subscribe, welcome thoughts, comments, and I do respond. Thank you. Wash your hands. Keep in mind. Clear. Watch out for another shit if you like my piece.